Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you can't tell by the title down below, today I'm going to be reviewing some not polished acrylic powders. I haven't used these powders before, so I'm super excited to review these products today. Um, I hear a lot about these um, acrylic powders. I hear that they're very good, so I want to try them out for myself. Um, I just have six colors here. Um, so the ones I'm going to be swatching is my Allure. So it's like this cute, sparkly, neon green color. And then next we have um, Heat Wave. It's like a cute orange color, very cute. I'm excited about these colors because they're summer colors. So it's going to be super cute. Um, next we just have a, a yellow um, called Yellow Mamba. Next, we have here a, just a plain neon green color. This one is called Dirty Money. And then here, uh, we have Wicked Mind. It's kind of similar to the Heat Wave, but this one is like a little bit more orange. This one is like pink. And then lastly, I'm super excited about this one. This one looks very cute. Um, cotton Candy. So without further ado, let's start swatching these colors. Okay, so the first color that I am going to swatch is going to be um, my Allure. And I just, side note, this is pretty packaged and I love the um, red tops. It's easy to read, you know, you, you can read like right at the front what you're getting and then underneath is the um, color that you, the name of the color that you got. So super cute packaging. I just have my stiletto nail my stilettos uh swatch sticks so let's go in and see i think i'm just gonna do the inside yeah i'm just gonna do the inside i think it's easier just to do it like that so as always i am using my alpha brush in the number nine i'll make sure to link that down below i'll also make sure to link um each color that i'm swatching down below as well okay I like this glitter. This is pretty. Very cute. Okay, so that's one bead. Um, it definitely picked up very well. I've run into quite some trouble with colored acrylic powders. Um, I'm not going to say the brand that I use, but it's a brand that I used. And like their acrylic powders were so chalky. Like I couldn't pick up the bead. Like... It was literally a disaster. Um, and I was doing it on a client. And as I'm doing it, I'm like, I'm sorry. I cannot use this powder. Like, it was that bad. So, now when it comes to, like, colored acrylic powders, I be, like, so nervous to buy them because of that. Like, it was so chalky. It was, it was a disaster. So, we had to end up picking, like, a different color. Like, when I'm, I'm telling you, when I, I couldn't pick up the bead, I could not pick up the bead. But with this, like, I'm picking it up. It's like butter. Like, it's gliding like butter. Like, it's so easy to pick up. So, 10 out of 10 so far. I'm loving this glitter. I'm definitely excited to see about those other, um, that purple color to see if it's chalky. Because I know vibrant colors sometimes can be chalky. So, we're going to see about that. Um, but my allure... Um, 10 out of 10, okay? Look at the, can you, is the camera picking this up? Look at the glitters. Like, and that went on like butter. Like, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited for these. I love this color. 10 out of 10 will recommend. It, it, it. Girl, get it. I love this, my lord. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, guys, so the next color that I'm going to be swatching is Wicked Mind. And it's like this cute, you know, summertime color. Like, I'm super excited to try that. Alrighty. Like I said, I hope this is not chalky because I had some bad experiences. Okay, yes, it's picking up, it's picking up. I'm like traumatized from that powder. Like it was, it was so bad. Look at this. Oh my God. It's like gliding on like butter. You guys comment down below. If you use not polish, let me know what's your favorite color. Let me know if you like it. If you don't like it, your pros and your cons. Cause right now 
right now y'all i don't have any cons i don't have any cons and i also wanted to see like if this color acrylic uh, marble because i do have some um acrylic powders that they're marble so but this is not marbling what's in this <laughs> love it love it love it this is a cute color for the summertime this will be cute with an ombre let me get the corners like we're not getting any marbling this is amazing why did not been ordered not polished am i late <laughs> comment down below am i late on this I don't know. I just was like, let me just try it. I always see reviews on um, YouTube. So I'm like, let me just try it. Um, so this is, what was it again, guys? Wicked Mind. Um, I love this color. It's a pretty color for the summertime. It went on like butter. Like I, f I have high hopes for the rest of these. I hope they all apply like this. So far, so good. So let's move on to the next color. Okay, so the next color that we are going to be using is called Yellow Mamba or our Pizza Kobe and Gigi. Is this one open? No. I didn't open this one yet. Let's open it. Look at this yellow. Oh my God, I'm so excited for summertime, you guys. And all the fun nail looks I'm going to create. I just love summertime because people are more, people like to um, branch out and do more color. Okay, guys, look how that picked up. Uh, I am loving this. Like, I'm just mad because I could have been using that polish. What took me so long to get it? <laughs> okay, look at that yellow. I'm definitely going to be using this yellow on myself. I love yellow in the summertime. You guys, do you guys care? Like, comment down below if you care, like, what colors you use um, for different seasons. Like, do you get yellow in, like, the winter? <laughs> I was telling my sister that the other day, and she was like, it doesn't matter. And I'm just like, mm, it matters to me. Because <laughs> I don't think I'm going to have yellow nails in the winter while it's snowing. Like, I want to have a winter color, like a burgundy like stuff like that i think it matters so far so good it's picking up really good it's not chalky at all i don't have any any um cons well not yet let me not speak too soon <laughs> let me not speak too soon at this point i'm just playing in it <laughs> Because I just really like this yellow. Alright, let me just be done. <laughs> okay. Let me turn it around. Let's see how she looks. Okay, yes. This is a nice yellow, guys. Comment down below. What do you think? Okay, so this is Yellow Mamba. Another 10 out of 10. You guys are going to be getting tired of me saying 10 out of 10. But I think for the last three, I think I'm going to be saying 10 out of 10 as well. So without further ado, let's move on to the next one. Okay, guys. So the next color that we are going to be using is this pretty neon green color. Greek for the summer. Um, This is Dirty Money. Um, I will link this down below as well. I think this will go pair well with the Allure. Like maybe if you want to do one finger... Um, sparkly neon green that'll be cute so let's see what dirty money is hitting for i'm really rooting for this one because i love me a neon green okay i love me a neon green okay you guys <laughs> not polishing me up <laughs> hit me up i need more acrylic powders because y'all didn't come to play Hit me up. <laughs> like this neon green is bomb. AF. Bomb AF. Like what? This is like, I'm just like, I'm shocked. Because like I said, like a lot of acrylic powders that I've come across in my journey have been marbling, have been chalky. Like girl 
I'm not even gonna put them on blast like that, but phew. look at dirty money though. Look at that. It's kind of looking a little bit yellow. You think you guys think it looks a little bit yellow on camera, but it's neon green. Um, yes, this is a perfect neon green. Um, this will look bomb. Um, ombre. I think I'm gonna practice some ombre after this. Um, test test these colors with some ombre as well. But yes, I love this neon green as well. So 10 out of 10. And let's move right on. We have two too many too too many. <laughs> Two more colors left to swatch. Okay, guys, so the next color that we are going to be swatching is called Cotton Candy. And this is one, this is the one I'm most excited about because just look how vibrant it is. Like, look how pigmented that is. Like, look at that color. That's that's like super pretty. Like, I can't wait to use that. Hopefully, it's good as well, which I kind of think it will be. Like, look how my beads are picking up. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> you guys, I'm just excited. I'm sorry. Let me calm down. <laughs> like, okay. I'm I'm a fan. I'm throwing in the towel. I'm a fan. At this point, I'm just going to throw all the rest, <laughs> all my other acrylics away and just get all my polished. <laughs> just kidding. But... I love these. I love these. But what I can say is not polish is on the pricier side. I'm not going to lie. It's like $20 just for... That was a bad beat. It's just like it's $20 for one acrylic powder. That's kind of pricey. So definitely, I know a lot of YouTubers um, nail tech youtubers have a discount code so if you can find one of those definitely use one or catch them on a sale because twenty dollars for a acrylic powder can definitely add up so if that's like too expensive for you um definitely try to find yourself a code or catch them on a sale i did catch them on a the sale which sale was this i forget what sale that i bought these on um but yeah, catch them on the sale because it's a little pricey. Okay, so cotton candy. Okay, this is pretty. This is pretty. And you know how sometimes the pow the powder and then when you lay it is different? Like, no. It's the same color. So, yeah. Another 10 out of 10. So, we have one more color left. So, let's get to it. Okay, and for our last and final swatch, we have this pretty orange color. This is in the color Heat Wave. Um, it's a very pretty orange, so let's swatch her and see. Also, I don't know if um, UPS was just it's still backed up from orders and things like that, shipping out orders, but my powders took two weeks to come, guys. I don't know if that's their usual like turnaround time or it, I know like UPS has been like slow with packages just because of Corona and things like that. Um, but yeah, this took two weeks to come. I was kind of like, um, where's my acrylic powders? Um, I don't think it was the company's so fault. I just think UPS is still like backed up with a lot of things. So yeah, just take that into consideration when, um, when purchasing your acrylic powders, it may take some time to come um, because UPS is still backed up. But that's just um, one little con that I had because I'm like two weeks. Um, that took that took a lot. That took a long time, and I was like checking every day because I was like, I need to make my video. I'm like, where is it? But yeah. I'm pretty sure it's just because UPS is back though. Because I know like once once the company ships your order, it's kind of like out of their hands. It's like in UPS hands. So I did email them just to like um, check on me and see, you know, like where it was. And they were pretty, they were prompt about replying. Um, they told me where it was, you know, told me what was going on. So 10 out of 10 on their customer service. Appreciate that. We love a, a fast um, customer service team. I know that's right. 
Okay, so last color is, what is this called again, guys? Heat Wave. This is a pretty, it's kind of like a, um, like a burnt orange kind of. Um, super pretty. I love it. 10 out of 10. Okay, guys, so that concludes my review on Not Polish acrylic powders. Like I said, this is my first time um, using Not Polish. I never used it before, and I definitely give it a 10 out of 10. The colors swatched so beautifully, and the beads picked up good. The colors was were not chalky at all. That's what I was really nervous with because... Yeah, I had a bad experience in the past with another company and their acrylic powders. So this is definitely a 10 out of 10. I definitely recommend it. Um, I will link each color that I used down below. And also comment down below if you use Not Polish. What's your favorite color? If you like it, if you don't like it, yeah, comment down below. Let's have a conversation. So without further ado, as always, thank you for tuning in to another YouTube video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.